Act One. Enter Tamina, a blue-blooded, full-blooded prince. And he's lost, very, very lost. No idea which way to turn and no clue that his greatest adventure is about to begin. Welcome to the kingdom of the Queen of the Night. Choose your steps wisely and remember that you are the master of your own path. Bend the world to your royal will and don't let small things stop you. Can you hear the hissing? Can you see the great cunning serpent slithering nearby? You can't be too careful or hide too fast. Run, Tamino, find safety or die. Run, this place isn't safe anymore. Faster, run! Sharp, be swift, be victorious. Faster, run. Run! This place isn't safe anymore. That was close. Run! This place isn't safe anymore. Be sharp, be swift, be victorious. Faster, run!
That was close. Run! This place isn't safe anymore. Be sharp, be swift, be victorious. Under the bone-chilling glare of reptile eyes, the blood in Tamino's veins turns to ice. Enter the dark and awesome threesome. Die, monster, through our power. Triumph! As the witches rush off to announce the arrival of the still unconscious but still very charming prince to their mistress, the Queen of the Night, we return in time a little. Enter Papageno, the bird catcher to the court of Her Majesty the Queen of the Night. Tamino's petrified screams echo from the distance. What is it? Who is it? Should I find out or run in the opposite direction?
The prince wakes up. Snap. The magic padlock seals Papageno's lying lips. Clink. The silver medallion opens. For a split second, Prince Tomino sees a picture of Pamina, the only daughter of the Queen of the Night and the most beautiful creature to ever grace those forsaken lands. The heartbeat passes, the medallion shuts, and here another chapter begins. Find the medallion.